What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoots and today I've got a video for you on how to hide your current Steam balance inside of Steam. I'm talking about the one up here right next to your username that you may not want to show for multiple reasons. Maybe you just want to keep your money off of something like a live stream, etc, etc, or keep your account private that way. Obviously, it's not something people want to go around flexing, of course, unless you actually want to. In that case, why are you on this video? But besides the point, how exactly are we going to go about hiding the balance up here? Because there is nowhere under preferences or account details or anything like that on actually hiding the balance up there. So how do we do it? Well, we need to create a custom skin. If you already have one, then prepare to modify it similarly to what I'm going to show you here. So first of all, open up Task Manager, find Steam on the list, right click, open file location, then you'll see a page like this. Scroll up to the top and you'll find a folder called Skins. Right click and open a new window. We'll put this next to our window over here because we'll be dragging files between them. So inside of Skins, let's go ahead and right click, New Folder, and we'll give it a name, Hide Money. Of course, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to open up this folder. Next up, we'll be making a new folder inside of our Hide Money folder which we'll call a resource, R-E-S-O-U-R-C-E. -E. Hit enter twice to open it up, and we'll go back to the Steam window over here and open up the resource folder. Next up, we'll be taking something out of the styles folder over here. We'll be taking steam.styles, and we'll be taking from the layout, account button dot layout. So inside of our resource folder that we just created, new, and we'll name it styles. Enter, and we'll make a new folder as well called layout. Enter again, and inside of the styles folder, we're going to copy and paste the steam.styles from our actual directory into our skin folder. Going back one on both, we'll be opening up layout, and then copying account button.layout into the layout folder that we just created. Next up, we'll be right clicking on account button.layout and hitting open with notepad or something similar. If you don't see an option to open with notepad or edit with notepad, simply open up a notepad or text editor on your PC and drag and drop the file onto it to open it. Next, we'll be scrolling down to about line 127. Down here, you'll find font size inside of these two brackets here under account balance style. Of course, you can go ahead and search for this and you'll be taken to the exact line. We'll be changing the font size from 14 to zero. Then we'll be changing padding right to zero as well and padding left to zero as well, just to make it look a little bit better. Scrolling down a bit, you'll see account balance style, dollar sign OSX inside of brackets. If you're using a Mac computer, you'll be changing the font size down here as well. Then we'll hit control S to save it and we can close the notepad text editor. Next, head back to Steam. In the top left, go to Steam, settings, then to interface, and then under select the skin you wish Steam to use, we'll be selecting the one that we just created. Hit OK. And it'll ask you to restart Steam. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Once we've done that, you'll notice that the account balance is suddenly missing. I've seen a couple of other tutorials on YouTube, but they leave quite a large wide space over here next to your username that just doesn't look as clean. Of course, if you click the drop down, you'll still see your balance under view my wallet. So just make sure to avoid that when you can. So before I end off this video, I'll be demonstrating what it looks like for the other tutorials that I've seen that don't look as clean as this. It's just a minor detail, which we changed in the account button dot layout file down here under padding right and padding left. They were originally set to eight and two instead of zero and zero. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and demonstrate what it looks like once I restart Steam here. And there we have it. You can see a little bit of space to the right hand side of the arrow there. That doesn't look too clean. I'm going to go ahead and undo it just to demonstrate one last time. But of course, if you like having that extra gap over there, you can go ahead and leave the padding right and padding left to eight and two instead of zero and zero. And there you can see the difference, especially when I hover over it. So anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. This has been a really quick, simple tutorial with no downloads. You can do it yourself. And it's got a bit of an improvement over already existing tutorials on this, just because it makes it look that little bit better that you may appreciate or you may not even notice. But anyways, my name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. And I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.